This film is all about planning your future treatment and care. In many cases, when people become very unwell, they will get better. Sometimes it is not possible to make someone better and they may die. It is important to plan for every possibility. Thinking about being very unwell or about dying can be difficult. The doctors, nurses, your family, friends and carers can help you if you feel scared or upset. However, it's important to know that you don't need to have this discussion at all if you don't feel that you want to. It is your choice. So pause the video here. If you decide you do want to discuss this, watch more of the video to see what would happen. Planning discussions can be supported by a form called a Treatment Escalation Plan, or a TEP. This is Jane. She's 45 years old and she has a problem with her lungs that cannot be made any better. It makes her feel very poorly and rather short of breath. Let's watch what happens when Dr Brown invites Jane and her carer to discuss a treatment escalation plan. So, so Jane, that's your checkup complete. Your lungs are sounding a bit better than before you went into hospital. How are you feeling since you were in hospital with that chest infection last week? It's good to be home again. I don't like really being in hospital. Jane, you've been quite tired since you've been home, haven't you? I've caught you nodding off in your chair. Are you sleeping okay, Jane? Yes, now I'm home. So noisy and scary. I can't sleep there in hospital. Jane, you did tell me, didn't you, that if the ambulance came, you wouldn't want to go back into hospital. Is that right? Yeah, it's like being at home. So I wonder whether we could have a discussion about how to keep you well at home. How do you feel about having that discussion now? I don't mind, it's important. Dr Brown explains a little bit more about the treatment escalation plan process and shows her the form. Okay, so Jane, we can use a form called a TEP, a treatment escalation plan form to help us think together about what we need to discuss and I've actually got an information leaflet here that gives it a lot more detail about what we're going to think about yeah. um, but do let me know if you'd like to have this discussion another time it might be that you want to go away and read that leaflet or go away and speak to people your family your support workers other people that are important to you. This leaflet will help Jane to try and understand the form and the decisions the doctors and nurses will be making with her her family and her carers. It's okay to do it now. This is my friend's support. She can help us. Really don't want to go back in the hospital. So Jane, could you perhaps start, use your own words to let me know what you understand about your lung problem? They don't work properly anymore. You can't make them better again. So I'd like to start by talking about treatments that we might think about using if you were to become more unwell and I'd like to think about how we can support you to remain at home if that's where you'd prefer to be cared for. The TEP form considers what matters most to you and what treatment options to consider. So we've agreed, Jane, that if you become more poorly, we'll make every effort to keep you at home and we can think about what medicines can be given to you there. We could give you some antibiotics or an inhaler if your chest got bad again, but we could also make sure that we prescribe some medicine to keep you comfortable things like sort of managing your pain. How does that sound? That sounds good. So we should also comment on another treatment called cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or sometimes it's referred to as CPR. The information leaflet I've just given you does explain this treatment in a bit more detail. It's a treatment used when a person's heartbeat and breathing has stopped. So in your case, Jane, because of your medical problems, this treatment's unlikely to be helpful. Okay. So we've agreed that we're aiming to give you treatments that will help you and will keep you comfortable. A CPR will do ne neither of those things. What I'll do is indicate on the TEP form that this wouldn't happen if your heartbeat was to stop and your breathing was to stop. How does that sound, Jane? OK. Certain treatments won't help. I'm pleased you're feeling better. And I must say, I'm not expecting you to get poorly anytime soon. But nevertheless, it's been really helpful to think about these things in, in advance so that everyone is aware of what to expect. It's also important to know we can change these decisions at any time and we can use the TEP form to record what treatments we've discussed today and I would recommend that you share this form with people who are close to you. So thank you for having this discussion with me and I'm wondering if there's something else that you'd like to talk about before you leave. No, thank you. 
And Lucy, what do you think? I think it sounds like a really good plan. And I'll let the support team know and I'll let your sister know as well. The treatment escalation plan is now complete and Lucy and Jane say goodbye to Dr Brown. It's important to know that it can be discussed again in the future if Jane's needs change. But for now, Jane doesn't need to worry about that. She can just get back to living her life as normal, safe in the knowledge that if she does become unwell, she will receive the treatment and care that's right for her.